Hey guys, Michael here from youtube.com slash the revived one. I'm here with the HyperMac external battery. This is again an external battery for your Mac laptop. And uh, it's one of the best ones because it actually plugs in via your MagSafe adapter. So just to go over some of the specs, this costs $499.95. Again, it's their top of the line model and it weighs in at a pretty hefty 4.7 pounds. Not the best, not the nicest thing you want to carry around in addition to your laptop in your bag, but if you're going on a longer trip, it's definitely something worth having. It's 10.1 inches long by 5.91 inches wide and 1.34 inches thick. That's a lot of talk, but let's just compare it to the Flip Mino HD and the Nokia 5800 because it's hard to imagine these specifications in case you, if you can't compare it to something you know. So again, this is the top of the line model, their 220 watt variety. They also ship in 60 watt, 100 watt, and 150 watt uh, for a less price and of course, less capacity. Uh, for this 222 watt one, you can get 31.5 hours on your MacBook Air, 26.7 hours on a unibody 17 inch, and on my Penryn MacBook Pro 15.4 inch, you can get 23.5 hours. So around a full day of charge out of this battery. In my testing, I have not gotten 23.5 hours, probably because I'm doing stuff more than casual browsing. So don't expect to get these high numbers out of it, but you can definitely expect to get a longer car trip out of this battery. But what else do you get when you order a HyperMac? Now, you don't get... Well, I'll just show you first. Of course, you have your charging cable, just standard AC, a power brick, and then this to plug into the device. But then you get this guy right here. Again, like I said, it plugs into the MagSafe port on your computer. So I'll just show you what you have here. You have charging, so to plug your AC in here. You have a power button to show you how much juice you have. If it's plugged in, the on button will go on, and then you have four bar meter here. You have four bar meter here. You have the USB out, so you can charge an additional thing, maybe like an iPhone 3G or 3GS or whatever that can be powered via USB. You can charge that in addition to your laptop with this Hyper Mac. And then you have DC out. So to charge your MacBook Pro, you would just plug this in. Like I said, that on light would go on. Even if it's not in use, the light goes on if this cable is plugged in. And this would go into your mag into the MagSafe. Green when it's just using power, red when it's charging. And that's pretty much all on, that you get on the design. You get in some little mirror reflection here. That's all you really get on the Hyper Mac. So it's a pretty sleek design. Now, when you're that's everything you get with all versions. But if you're ordering the 100, 150, or 222 watt variety, you also get a $150, or that's at least how much they sell it on their website, mobile car charger. So when you're in the car, you can plug this into a cigarette lighter, plug this end right here, and then plug this into your laptop, and you're good to go mobile charging. In case your battery goes out, you can charge it in your car, which is really cool. You can charge your laptop in the car. I would have liked to see maybe uh, with that an option to charge, you know, your that Hyper Mac itself, but it's still good that they include that mobile charger. Now for the pros again. Just overall, the concept, 23 hours of extra usage is something that's really attractive for long trips. Maybe if you're a college student, you need to take a lot of notes in lecture. You have this so you don't have to worry about an older laptop that's battery is going, whatever. Also, it, cosmetically, it's not an eyesore, which is really nice uh, for me. Just because I don't want to use something that's just hideous to look at. Not that you know you need to go out and buy a battery that's so cosmetically pleasing and you're paying for what it looks like but it's just not bad in its aluminum design. Also, that free car charger, I'm not sure if it's really an $150 value. On their website, they'll charge you $150 to buy it separately, but it's still nice to include with this, uh, you know, battery. Now the cons, going back to the, what it looks like, there are some imperfections. I notice I scratched my arm on something. I don't remember where it was. But then you also have these random markings here, if you can see it. And there's just other, there's just imperfections, and for something that I'm going to pay, you know, for this $500 for, I would prefer if there were no imperfections.
Also, the price. I mean, $500, it does a great job, but $500, which could be half of your MacBook, if you bought a, maybe, or a MacBook Pro now, if you bought a 13-inch MacBook Pro for, I guess, $1,000, or the white one is $1,000, you know, you're going to be paying half for a battery. That just doesn't seem right in comparison. But then again, it's perfectly fine. If money's no option, you're buying a $3,000 MacBook Pro with all the trimmings, maybe you don't care about price, which is really good. I mean, not really good, but this would be perfect for you. Also, reliability. I have a question about that. This is actually the second Hyper Mac that they sent me for a review. The first one came. I needed it in the car trip. It worked for 20 minutes and died. Never worked again. Charged it. Tried everything. Never worked. So reliability, that first unit, I don't know what happened there. Maybe it was a lemon, but that shouldn't happen. It shouldn't not work like that. So I'm not exactly sure down the road if I would have another problem with this one or if I just got a poor unit the first time. Also, you get one. When you purchase this, you can purchase this cable and you can either get one for with a MagSafe or one with the MacBook Air adapter. But let's say you had both and you needed to use both or at least have this usable for both. You're going to have to pay another, I think, $100 to get the cable that works with the MacBook Air. Now you can get one that just works with the MacBook Air, this that works with the MacBook Air with it, but then if you wanted to get a MagSafe, you know, you'd have to pay another $100 to get it. So it works both ways. So for me, that's not, a, that's not really an issue for me because I don't have a MacBook Air, but if I was somebody who had both, I needed a MacBook Air adapter and a MagSafe adapter, I'd be kind of bummed that I had to pay $100 extra to get that cable because then, you know, I'd be paying $600 for my battery, which is weight, which is really outrageous. So there's the HyperMac 222 watt external battery. Overall, it does a great job with what it does. Of course, usage, you're not going to get the hours they pronounce on their website, but you're still going to get some quality additional usage out of your machine. I'm Michael Sherlock from youtube.com slash the revived one and michaelsherlock.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you like the review of the HyperMac.